go back to Second Ezra 13 14. So the brother was saying that you have to set your house in order, right? So what are some of the things that you got to do to set your house in order? What do you mean, I keep it quiet. That's what I, I keep. That's what I, I keep, try to keep my house quiet. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay. We're going to read this one more time. Read it again. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 14 and verse 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. So it says, set thine house in order. Who does the house start with? The man. The man. So in order for you to get your whole household in order, meaning your wife, your kids, it has to start with you. They got to see the example in you. They got to see Christ in you. You have to be applying God's laws or they're going to take you for a joke. So you got to set your house in order, meaning you get yourself together first, right? Everything that you're learning right now, apply to your life. That's how you start to get your house in order. Read. And reprove thy people. Then once you get yourself in order, then you can go out and reprove the people. You can reprove your house. They'll take you serious. They understand that, hey, he's not playing. He's serious about God's laws. You can go out and do, you can be right here on this side right here, bro, and teach your people. Because that's what God, that's what God is calling us out here to do. Right. We're out here to teach our people. Right. Give me Luke right. 14 and 23. Luke 14 and 23. Because that's, that's what's instructed of us from Christ, our head. He tells us to go, and we go. So we're out here for our people. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highway and hedges. So. The Lord said unto the servant, we're God's servants. We're Christ's servants. Right. He said to go out into the what? The highways and hedges. So the highways and hedges is where we are right now. We're right here in the streets. You're going to see the prophets in every corner of America. That's or wherever right. that we've been scattered. Right. We're going to go out to the highways and hedges, meaning the streets, the cities where our people are. Read. And compel. And what? Compel. We're going to compel them how? By reading the Bible. That's showing right. them the errors of their ways, showing them their sin, and showing them that they must repent and keep God's law. That's right. Read. And compel them to come in, that my house, that what? My house may be filled. So that we can get the hell up out of here. So that Christ's house is filled right. with the Israelites, not everybody in the world. Right. The Israelites. Give me Isaiah 30 and 20. Or is it 20 and 30? Because our people... They're not going to have any excuse, no. right? When Christ returns, there's no excuse. It's end of everything. That's right. it. There's no more excuses. You got that? Yes, sir. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Because right now, we're getting the bread of adversity. Look at our people. Look at the state that we're in. Look what we're going through. This is the bread of adversity. We got the lowest paying jobs. We got high crime rate, gang violence, black on black crime. Brown on brown crime, we're filling the prison houses, we're getting shot down in the street. That's the bread of adversity that our people are going through. That's right. No other nation can say that they're going through this. We're going through this as of today. Read. And the water of affliction. And we cry. We're wondering why we're going through this. It's because of sin. That's why we're going through it. But we have to realize that and come back to the Bible. We have to be taught that. That, hey, we're in the midst of sin. This is why we're going through the, the curses. Right. Read. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So they're not going to have an excuse to say, well, nobody taught us. Because the teachers are out right now. We're out here in the highways and hedges teaching our people. Right. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. They're not going to have any excuse. We're going to go to the highways and hedges. The teachers are not going to be removed into a corner anymore. Do you see any pastors out here? No. What are they supposed to be doing? They're supposed to be following be Christ. Right. They're supposed to follow Christ, right? Christ taught the people where they were, in the streets, right. in the cities, right. not in the building. They were in the streets, That's him right. and the disciples, all his disciples. Read. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And you're going to see us everywhere you go. It's no excuse. We're going to be here, there, everywhere. We're going to be on every corner. Wherever our people are, that's where we're going to be. That's right. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word. And they're going to what? Hear a word. What's that word that we're going to be hearing? What's the word that our people are going to be hearing right now, that they're hearing right now on this Sabbath day? Um, the what? The what? The word? No, they're going to be hearing the word. No, God's no word. word. No word. On Sabbath day? 
No, I understand what you're saying, but read that part again. I want you to hear what he's saying. Isaiah 30 and verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. So they're going to be hearing this right here, the Bible. This is the way. This is the way right here. Right. Read that part again. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, What? Behind thee. Because what do our people usually do? Look, they're walking by. You don't want, you, you stop because you got sense. But our, most of our people, they're walking by and they hear it. They know they got sense. They hear it, yeah. but it's no excuse. No, it's not. They're going to hear the word. So they can't say in that day, oh, well, I didn't know. No, you're walking past and you hear it, but you don't want to. You don't want to take heed to it. Read. This is the way. This is the way. Keep God's laws. That's the way. Read. Walk ye in it. And what? Walk ye in it. So how we walk in it is by applying what we learn. That we got what? Keep fringes on our clothes. That we got to wear a beard. That we got to keep the Sabbath day holy. That's the way that they're going to be hearing. That's the word that they're going to be hearing behind them. But it's not going to be any excuse. Because they can't say, oh, in the day, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. So the household starts with you. That's right. The household starts with you. So that way, you can the blood will be off your hands. Give me uh, Exodus, I know, Ezekiel 3 and 17. That's why we out here. Because if we don't do it, the blood is on our hands. It's, it's our fault if we didn't go out and teach our people. You got that? Read 3 and 17. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. So, we are the watchmen for our people. Right. We're supposed to be watching over them. Right? Because this, uh, this is God's people. We're supposed to instruct them, guide them, protect them, show them what's, what's required of them out of the Bible. We're the watchmen. What does the watchman do? He warns of danger that's coming. We're the watchmen. Read. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Read. And give them warning. What? Give them warning. So that's what we're out here doing. We're reading out of the Bible and giving our people warning. That's and what right. do they do? They're blind to it. They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear it. But we're still going to come out and warn the people. That's, right. that's what we're instructed to do. The highways and hedges. We got to get ourselves in order first, then go out and teach our people. Because we're the watchmen. We're the servants of Lord of the Lord. We have to go out and show our people the error of their way. We're the watchmen. We're supposed to show them the danger that's coming. That's right. So we're going to teach them the words of the Bible. Read. And give them warning from me. Uh -huh. When I say unto the wicked. To the what? The wicked. The wicked of all people, because they are smoking, yep. drinking, selling drugs to one another, killing each other, evil surmising amongst each other. Read. Thou shalt surely die. And that's what we're out here doing. We're warning them, hey, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to die. That's right. Christ is going to return and kill you. Right. If That's you're not right. keeping his laws, if you're not applying his commandments to your life, you're going to die. That's right. It's not the same Christ that they've been teaching in the church where it's love, kisses, and bubbles. No, Christ, the black Messiah, is going to come back and kill That's those right. that, are not this, that, are, that are not obeying his word. Right. Read. And thou givest him not warning. So if we don't give him warning, read. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way uh -huh. to save his life. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to save his or hers life. We love our people. That's why we come out here every Sabbath because we love our people. We don't want to see them die. But our people are rebellious. They're, we're rebellious people. We don't want to listen to anybody. You can't tell me nothing. I'm going to do what I want to do. But the wicked of our people, we're trying to warn them. That they're, hey, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to die. Like the brother said earlier, we put before you blessings and curses. The blessings, you're going to live forever. You're going to get the kingdom. You're going to have riches. The curses is you're going to die. You're going to go through all kind of calamity. You're going to have problems in your life, in your marriage. You're going to struggle. Read. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So he... If that person, if we don't go out and tell them what they're doing wrong, they're going to die in their sin. But here's the kicker right here. Read. But his blood will I require at thine hand. The blood is going to be on our hand because why? As us as servants of the Lord, we didn't go out and tell the people. 
We didn't go out and warn them. The same applies to you, bro. If you don't go learn the Bible, learn the laws, apply them to your life, and then go eventually come out and teach your people, congregate, teach your people, then the blood is going to be on your hand. You understand? The Lord's not going to blame them for that. He's going to blame you. That's right. And that's what you don't want. Read. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness. So if we warn the wicked, tell them, hey, what you're doing is wrong. That's a sin according to God's laws. You're supposed to be keeping God's laws, not breaking them. We're going to show you how not to break God's laws. But if you don't want to turn from that, read. Nor from his wicked way, uh -huh. he shall die in his iniquity. He's going to die, right? Read. But thou hast delivered thy soul. But we delivered our own soul. Why? Because we gave them warning like the Lord instructed us to do. As watchmen, we're supposed to go out and warn the people. So the steps that, we, that, that the brother was showing you, look, get yourself in order, then get your household in order, then you go what? Out and teach your people. Teach your people. Because look, bro, we was just on that, we was on that same side where you, we were standing right where you were. That's right. Bugged out of our mind. That's right. Because we didn't know any better. Right. Our people didn't, we didn't know any better because what? The pastor's not teaching us this. Right? For years, we ain't know that, oh, we're supposed to keep God's laws? Oh, I didn't know anybody told us. Well, here it is in the Bible. We got to learn it and apply it to our lives. Right? Right? We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.